Thank you so much. Thank First you. of all, uh, many congratulations to Dr. Ranjit for organizing a very, very fruitful conference. Thank you so much for this invitation. And uh, it's an honor for me uh, to share this platform with uh, Subra ji and uh, uh, Lakshmi ji. Uh, just give me the permission to uh, begin my with my PPT. Sure, ma'am. So today I will be talking about the socio-medical legal aspects of the vitriol age acid attacks. I hope the PPT is visible and my voice is audible. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So to begin with, yes. So vitriol age, it is an act. It is an intentional act in which acid is thrown on a person. It is defined as throwing of acid or similarly corrosive substances with the intention to disfigure, maim, torture, destroy the beauty, or very rarely to kill. Here, the students needs to understand that the intentions in the cases of acid attack remains to disfigure, to torture, to destroy the beauty, the so-called beauty. I call it, my research suggests that this is a gender-based violence. Although acid attacks could be committed against any person, any man, any human being, but it has specific gender dimensions because most of the cases are reported and committed on women. If we go by the data, especially in the South Asian countries, 80% of the victims remains female in India as well as in the Asian countries as it was already discussed by uh, Madam Subhadra ji. So discussing about the reasons, I would say media is somewhere propagating the idea of beauty. When acid attack happens, as the Lakshmi said, in the Lakshmi's case, a girl in the age of very tender age of 15 years old, she is concerned about her development, her growth, and thinking about her future. And at that time, someone throws acid on that person and says, tum meri nahi ho saki, to tum kisi ki nahi ho sakogi. If you cannot be mine, you cannot be someone else. Is vakya may be, is, is sentence may be, he is looking at the woman as an object. Similarly, the media is showing women as an commodity. The beauty, uh, like a trophy in the house, like an asset in the house, just as a showpiece. What we see in the stories, what we listen in the stories, like Cinderella, that a woman, a girl is a weak, a Cinderella is a symbol of poor girl, weak woman, that a prince charming will come. He will help her. Usko poverty se nikalega. Cheap and easy availability of acid. Acid is easily available in the for 30 to 40 rupees. A half liter bottle le sakte hai. Uh, just 15 days back, I was just standing outside my house and uh, one person on the motorcycle, he was saying, tejab le lo, tejab le lo. I called him, what kind of acid you are selling? He said, uh, I have two varieties. One is diluted one. You can buy it in 30 rupees. Other is the pure sulfuric acid by 1.5 liter in 100 rupees. So acid, it is weapon of the poor. Most of the cases happens in the in the families who are who belong to lower economic social strata, and of course the patriarchy. Our society where women is always seen as weak, patriarchy is there, which says that if a girl is born, she is a burden. If a boy is born, then the family, the parents will go to the heaven. Because in our society, the society is the girl. Everyone is talking about that uh, most of the cases of acid attack happens when a boy proposes a girl and girls the girl rejects. 
बट देर इज अनदर सिनेरियो इन अवर कंट्री आगरा में अ वुमन नेम्ड गीता वॉज अटैक बाय हर ओन हसबेंड द रीजन वॉज शी गेव बर्थ टू टू गर्ल चाइल्ड हमारी सोसाइटी में हमारे देश में बेटियां पैदा करने पर रिस्पेक्ट नहीं मिलती है बेटी को तो पनिश किया ही जाता है बट अ वुमन हु इज गिविंग बर्थ टू ए गर्ल चाइल्ड इज आल्सो पनिश्ड एंड एस इज इज बींग थ्रोन ऑन हर सिमिलरली ड्यूरिंग द लॉकडाउन इन द पटियाला सिमिलरली अ वुमन हु गेव बर्थ टू ए गर्ल चाइल्ड वॉज बींग अटैक विद एसिड बाय हर ओन हसबेंड आई बिलीव we live in inequal society we don't have any equality we talk about we when we talk about our constitution our constitution of india begin with the term we our constitution maker our founding father gave us the constitution to each and every citizen of this country he said we the people of india we include he and she and even transgender but we are not equal when a girl is born the If a woman has to face inequality in two facets: before birth, what happens? Female feticide, and after birth, what happens? Acid attacks, rape, domestic violence, harassment, and many more forms of crimes. Rejection in love, refusal of indecent proposals are other reasons of such crimes. Suspicion of infidelity. and uh, when i said that it is a gender based violence 80 70 to 80% of cases of acid attack happens against women don't forget i'm not getting gender bias here i'm not forgetting that 20 to 30% victims are men and transgender as also the main reasons in such cases remains land or money disputes or business conflicts for the lack of laws for the restriction of sale and purchase of acid laws policies banayegi after the case of lakshmi i will discuss uh, these provision later on but other reason include family disputes domestic violence relationship conflicts and sexual crimes but according to me no reason of acid is justifiable when we are hurting someone that reason is no not justifiable when we are throwing acid on someone as lakshmi rightly said acid is in the minds of the perpetrator it is just because that acid is in the mind of a person that's why acid attack happens uh, madam uh, subra ji uh, begin their uh, lecture with and they suggested that acid is a acid attack is a newly fangled violence against the humanity uh, but uh, contrary to that i have as i have done research in this topic i would like to share this that it has historical background as well we started discussing about acid attacks only after 2013 only after when the decision in lakshmi's case came but you can see that sulfuric acid was first manufactured on industrial scale in in england in 1740s and people started using it for violent purposes so it has a long history and a wave of vitriol occurred particularly in france so you can see that in 1879 16 cases of acid attack went before the court and there may be many unreported cases if we talk about south asian countries and particularly in india india has a long been witness to incidents of acid violence and available records show the earliest acid attack was reported to have been place in 1920 as per the asfi foundation the attack was in bombay presidency of british india so it is very much clear when we were under the british rule before the independence of india acid attacks were happening in our country and it were happening many years back in other countries as well and we have documented such cases so we cannot say that acid attack is a newly fangled crime it is a, it has a long history 
acid attack has a long history and if we talk about the case of bagalpur blinding case of 1982 it involves the violence being committed by the police officials this case involves a forcible blinding of detaining by pouring acid into their eyes long back 1980 81 police officials in the bagalpur town in bihar poured acid into eyes of 33 under trials as today you know shapak movies there must go, must watch the shapak movie to understand the pain of the acid attack survivors especially female acid attack survivors but also watch the ganga jal the documentary eyes of the dark darkness which reveals the horrific effect of bagal bagalpur blinding case of the 33 under trials so generally as i have observed through various cases the usual agent being used in such cases are sulfuric acid nitric acid sodium hydroxide as hydroxide sulfuric acid is such a kind of acid gandhak acid jo bolte hain jo lakshmi par bhi giraya gaya tha lakshmi par jab attack hua tha when it come in contact with our skin it totally melts our skin and even it can melt our bones too it affects our teeth also acid attacks has not just the physical effects but it has psychological economic social it affects the society the whole life of the victim and his family if we talk about the specific physical effects you can see the skull the forehead the deformed face the deformed the affected eye uh, the deformed area of the lips if you can see closely the color of the teeth are even changed when acid directly contact with the eyes it causes blindness and it is not in most of the cases the recovery is very rare even if you have noticed one of lakshmi's eyes could not be closed properly it is just the effect of acid you can see the cheeks nose mouth chin everything is badly scarred and destroyed and it affects the body wherever the acid touch you can see the pictures of before and after when the concentrated acid is thrown on a person it melts the skin it melts the tissue up and down to the bones you should see the difference you should understand the difference this is not just one day's picture these pictures are if after lots of surgeries even after many surgeries the acid attack survivor cannot get their faces back as they were before they begin with the intention is to disfigure to maim to scar to torture wo meri nahi ho sake kisi ki nahi ho sakegi us to main aisi zindagi dunga tum jee pi na paogi mar bhi na paogi the mortality rate is hardly 2 to 8% because the major target is to disfigure and the ruin the life not to kill so uh, psychological effects emotional effects cannot be ignored the victim has to suffer insomnia night fear weakness difficulty in concentrating and remembering the things they feel depressed they feel ashamed they have to cover their faces because of our society as lakshmi said she was not comfortable in uh, going outside without covering her face as people were targeting her the society was targeting her society was looking at her as a victim even as a perpetrator as a wrong doer hamari society mein jisne crime kiya hai wo to shariyam ghumta hai ab wo bahar aa chuke hain jisne attack kiya lakshmi par 
वो तो सोसाइटी में घूम रहा है सोसाइटी इज नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट हिम बट सोसाइटी इज कंसर्न अबाउट द लुक्स ऑफ एन एसिड अटैक सर्वाइवर इकोनॉमिक इफेक्ट्स the most of the cases most of the acid attack cases occurs in uh, such families which have as i already said that in such case uh, families which have lower social economic background so it becomes very difficult for the families to uh, get the treatment of acid attack survivor sometimes they have to sell their properties for the treatment they do not get proper financial support from the government even and sometimes what happens mostly cases of acid attack i have to highlight here that most of the cases of acid attack happens in the age of very young age of 12 to 18 the survivors are of age of 12 to 18 mostly so they are totally they become totally dependent on their families they could not complete their studies when when we are not educated it becomes impossible to get a good job good opportunity i have to share this with everyone lakshmi who is known as a symbol of courage people just give her awards people just you we need to understand this thing we are ready to salute them we are ready to provide them with trophies but we never understand when she was attacked she was just 15 years old and how could you expect that she can complete her studies graduation post graduation and she can get a good job her family was a factor her brother died her father died they took loan her total life was shattered so we need to understand that economic effects are very high in such cases also and social effects as we have already discussed and one of the most important thing marriage in our society beauty of woman is considered as first preference for marriage purposes when the face of a beautiful girl is disfigured the chances of getting married is lost because our society just looks at the face uh as ma'am shubhra ji said acid attack has uh, happens in many countries as per my research it, most of the acid attack cases are number of high cases are in south asian countries and the reasons remain same because we have the similar cultural similar societies so the reasons are similar like refusal of relationship marriage proposal dowry marital disputes political rivalries and many more uh, to highlight here uh, in uk the reasons are bit diff different in uk most of the cases happens because of the jealous and it's uh, in uk the percentage of victims remain 50 50% that 50% victims are male 50% victims are female and the main uh, reason is jealousy and uh, other reason is when infidelity and in usa as shubhra ma'am were saying that there must be very few cases in usa there is just one case only single case of a woman and she was attacked attacked because of domestic violence by her own partner she was in living relationship with the person and her partner attacked her with acid because of the domestic violence domestic dispute if we talk about the uh, laws relating to the acid attacks our constitution provides many provision which indirectly protects the women or which indirectly uh, protects the victims of the acid attacks but if we specifically talk, talk as it is a crime against the humanity in the criminal uh, procedure code uh, sorry in the indian penal code prior to lakshmi versus union of india there were no in prior to 2013 criminal law amendment act and lakshmi's case this season there was no specific laws regarding acid attacks uh ncrb never recorded the data of acid attack before 2013 the reason was it was not 
ट्रीटेड एज अ सेपरेट क्राइम इट वॉज जस्ट हर्ट पनिश्ड अंडर हर्ट और ग्रीवियस हर्ट अंडर सेक्शन थ्री नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स विच डील विद द पनिशमेंट ऑफ हर्ट और ग्रीवियस हर्ट शपाक मूवी जिसने भी देखी है ही मस्ट नो द डायलॉग दैट गर्म चाय डाली है गर्म पानी डाला है चाहे एसिड डाला है पनिशमेंट वॉज सेम इट वॉज सेम थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स हार्डली and what was the compensation hardly 5 to 10000 in the case of victims so in 2006 lakshmi filed a pil in supreme court public interest litigation in may 2006 she added the law usne she added the supreme court the union of india law commission of india as national commission for women here the law commission of women uh, law commission of india was added as responded number 2 this is very important thing that though the law commission pointed out that pointed pointed out to the court that the in the petition cannot be prayed from the commission but they suo moto took the initiative in the view of gravity the of the offense so they began a social legal research and after the research this study the social legal medical effects of acid attack this studies the various laws of other countries especially uh, bangladesh they uh, and they suggested that they suggested to propose two uh, sections in the indian penal code this said that problem of acid attack is very grave so there should be at least two sections in the indian penal code that 326a and 326b which were later um, uh, inserted by criminal law amendment act 2013 the section 326a punishes the throwing of acid on the body of other person with a minimum punishment of 10 years may be extended to life imprisonment and minimum of uh, com uh, compensation 2 lakh and it is a non waivable and non compoundable offense similarly attempt to throw acid is also punishable under section 326b minimum punishment is 7 years which may be uh, extended uh, and minimum fine is 1 lakh rupees why criminal law amendment act came into force only after the effect of nirbhaya case and only after the effect of lakshmi's pil and later on criminal procedure code was also amended as the acid attack acid throwing become cognizable and non cognizable offense in the nature in lakshmi's case lakshmi challenged that just providing 5000 to 10000 compensation to acid attack survivors is not sufficient ek person ko agar fracture bhi hota hai ek normal usi mein hi 5 10 000 to aam lag jate hain and how can you say that when a person is going through countless surgeries then how can 5 to 10000 is sufficient this is a crime against the society and law has to take care of this so criminal uh, procedure code was also amended section 357 357a provides that there should be order to pay compensation by the court secondly the victim compensation scheme should be there that all the state governments in coordination with central government should prepare a victim compensation scheme to provide compensation to acid attack survivors so in the lakshmi's case the court said that 3 lakh compensation should be provided to the acid attack survivors later in parivartan kendra case the court realized that 3 lakh should should not be fixed it should be fixed as per the percentage of the burn so in the parivartan's case the court said that the 3 lakh compensation should be treated as minimum and court should the state should provide more compensation as per the need of the survivor further in the nipun saxena's case nalsa victim compensation national legal services authority victim compensation scheme was uh, introduced so here uh, one point is very important that role of legal services authority district legal services authority national legal services authority begin with the case of lakshmi in the case of lakshmi supreme court said that legal services authority will create awareness regarding acid attacks 
legal services will provide compensation and they will prepare a scheme for the compensation. So this is the national uh, NALSA victim compensation scheme, which provides compensation as per the percentage. It may be seven lakh, five lakh, depending upon the percentage of the burn. Regarding the treatment, which is a very important aspect of the acid attack, the court uh, provided that uh, medical assistance should be provided to the victims of acid attack and uh, the first uh, legal aid, uh, sorry, uh, the first aid should be provided immediately and no hospital cleaning should refuse treatment citing lack of specialization. Jab bhi acid attack ka case aata hai, koi bhi hospital usko ye nahi sakta ki nahi, abhi mein isko admit nahi karna hai, aap isko yaan se le jau. No, they cannot deny, they have to provide at least first aid. So certificate that the individual is a victim of acid attack disability certificate is also provided to acid attack survivor. So just accordingly, they can avail the facilities being provided to the disabled persons. So poison sect was also amended uh, in 2013 after the decision of Lakshmi versus Union of India. Lakshmi ke case mein kuch bohat hi important guidelines hai thi regarding sale of acid. I want each and every one present over here to listen it very carefully, especially the students. Supreme Court said that acid sale should be regulated. Acid sale is not banned, but it should be regulated. It is to be regulated. The person who is selling acid should have the license. The licensed shopkeeper hai, he could only sell the acid. He has to, uh, he can sell the acid to only that person who have, who is providing the buyer is, if the buyer is providing official ID, any government ID. Secondly, he specifies the reason, purpose of procuring the acid, why I am buying the acid. And, the shopkeeper has to declare all the stock to SGM, subdivisional magistrate. No person below the age of 18 years can buy acid. acid And for the laboratories, for the institution, education institutions, or hospital who have to procure acid for some kind of uh, some purposes. So they have to maintain a register of usage of acid. A person shall be made accountable for possession and safekeeping of acid. They should ensure that no child or no person is misusing it. The concerned SGM shall be vested with the responsibility of taking appropriate action for the breach. And if they, anyone breaches the provision, 50,000 fine is being imposed. So even after these uh, amendments, even after the regulation of uh, asset sale, these, this is the statistics. In 2013, 14, 66, uh, in 2013, the cases were recorded, number of okay, recorded cases were 66. Now it is around 250 to 300. These are the victims. There were 98 victims in 2011, recorded victims. Now they are around 250. But here I would like to highlight that there are numerous cases who remains uh, unregistered. Some uh, victims never file uh, FIR of, uh, because of the victim blaming. We always blame the victim for the wrong being happened to them. So the victims and their families, they refuse to file FIR. So we cannot say these are the num actual numbers of acid attacks which happens in our country. During the lockdown, I want to highlight there that especially in 2020 and 2021, we were under lockdown. Sabjiyan taazi achche se nahi mil pa rahi thi. Ration nahi mil pa raha tha. Lekin jo perpetrator hai, unko acid mil raha tha and they were throwing acid. Ek acid jo regulated hai, jiski sale regulated hai. It was being sold easily and acid attacks were happening throughout our country. As uh, Madam Subraji 
discuss about the importance of research on acid attacks. I would like to share that when uh, I began PhD in, uh, in law, on this topic, when I chose topic of acid attack, my topic of acid, this topic was rejected by Punjab University three times. They said there is scarcity of data on this topic. Why you want to pursue uh, research on this topic? You will not, you will get nothing. And again and again, I requested, no, I want to pursue research on this topic only. And they said, she is very stubborn. Give her this topic. Okay, you can do this uh, research on this topic. And I still remember there was a professor who said, ye badi stubborn ladki hai, karne do isko research, beech mein chhod degi, musse likwa ke le lo. Today, I would like to share that I, I can, not only I completed my PhD on acid attacks, now I am working for acid attack survivors. I'm Uh, 17 to create awareness regarding uh, the sale of acid. Although it is the duty of uh, legal services authority, national legal services authority and SGM to create awareness uh, regarding the regulation of sale of acid. But clearly I'm telling you that they are not performing their duty. That's why we are working on uh, to make aware regarding hazardous effects of the acid to rehabilitate the acid counseling whenever some case a case of any acid attack survivor comes to us the one important thing we give them is the hope we give them a hope that life this is not the end of the life life is still here there and you have to live we have a shelter home for acid attack survivors in New Delhi. Uh, what happens whenever some uh, victims travels from any corner of the country to Delhi, to Ames, Apollo, Saftarjan for their treatment, they have to stay there for many months. So we provide them a place free of cost where we counsel them. We provide them pre-treatment and post-treatment care they can stay there with us and we ensure that they are being provided with all the learning facility, rehabilitation and post-treatment care so that they can live their life happily as Lakshmi is living today. For their, we are proudly, we have proudly chosen the path of Atam Nirbar Bharat, the new India and uh, for the rebuilding the acid attack survivor we uh, teach them how to prepare the, uh, we have a project of namely uh, Mitti handprints where they learn how to prepare the uh, Mitti products. They paint them, they sell them and they earn from them. So we also uh, provide them training courses, uh, skill development courses. We have connected with many departments and with which we are trying our best to rehabilitate the acid attack survivors. So this is also another aspect of acid attacks, the first aid in acid attack. Um, so uh, I'm not a medical person. I am uh, from the legal background, but I, as per my, uh, as I have consulted with many uh, experts, many, uh, especially uh, forensic experts, uh, uh, the skin doctor specialists. So after that, I have prepared a document for the first aid in acid attack. Uh, this is just, this is not the complete one, but I would like to share a few of the things that a general protocol of airway, breathing and circulation should be assessed along with the specific other things in the uh, cases of acid attack. Make sure the situation of is safe for yourself too. Whenever you see any case of acid attack, any victim, make sure you are also safe. Shout out for call, pure acid, poor acid. Jessica Lakshmi ne bataya, don't, uh, I would like to uh, tell you that suppose uh, uh, there is a person who is a victim, mainly attack hua hai face pe, don't splash. When we splash something, jahan kisi, jab pani splash karte hain, to cheez failti hai, wo body pe raegi. Always face ko bend karna hai, bend aise nahi karna hai ki mere ba baaki body parts par aise raegi. 
bend it to other side pour acid uh, pour water like this not like this never splash the water so just remove the clothes jewelry which that has been contaminated by the acid or chemical after make sure the ambulance is coming jab tak ambulance nahi aati hai make sure you are standing with the victim you are supporting him and you are trying to give the person a hope that even after this there is still we can do to treat something and we can provide you with the treatment after everything after shifting the patient to the nearest healthcare make sure you have washed washed your hands after uh, taking care of the patient and try to obtain the history regarding the chemical if possible ke kaun sa chemical use kiya gaya hai acid attack par ke case mein so uh, this is my suggestion that the society must change its mindset to so that such kind of violence is deteriorated we can eliminate such kind of violence these are some of the relevant publications this book uh, was written by me and these are some of the research papers being written by me uh, you can uh, use this for further research or further studies so in the end uh, i would like to say that we need to educate our society education what i have learned throughout my life my experiences my studies uh, my uh, when i was with uh, i am with acid attack survivors that we need to educate ourselves we need to educate others also when we are talking about equality equality jo parents hote hain equality apne bachcho ko na de sirf apne bachcho ko nahi when a father is specially a to father a message to a father that apne bete aur beti mein to equality provide kar rahe ho we are providing equality are the caregivers being treated equally whether the parents mother and father are being treated equally my dear friends my dear brothers sisters everyone present over there education is the awakening and enlightening of human minds which not only teaches us to live socially culturally in this society but it also provides innate qualities in our human psyche by which we can rebuild this society for us we can make this society beautiful thank you so much thank you so much dr ranjit ji for supporting our ngo and uh, thanks a lot to lakshmi ji subra ji and everyone present over there thank you